All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, man. Shalom to the beloveds, the small remnant. Shalom to the elect, the sons and daughters of Yahweh, the God of Israel, man. Because today, we're going to get into the grape amongst the wild grapes, <clears throat> right? So basically what I'm getting into, metaphorically speaking, VIP tickets, right? Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, has favorites. And this is thoroughly proven in the scriptures. He has sons and daughters, right? That's going to be in the kingdom. That's going to be holy. That's going to be on point. You dig? They're going to understand. They're going to understand. They're going to be total ones, right? So... What we're also going to prove is, like we already know, you know, Gen X, baby boomers, you know, the vast majority of you humans are children of Satan. OK, you unbelievers, you scoffers, you foolish ones, you uh, old covenant Pharisees. Right. The vast majority of you people are children of Satan. Right. Some of y'all. Right. Because it's going to be beloveds who wake up. Okay, we gonna have you gonna have people who's gonna repent and come into the fold, man. I'm saying all this humbly, but I'm also saying the majority of you gonna get your head buzz, man. But guess what? What you see on the screen here is a couple of random pictures I found. Um, you got Dread Michelle, you got a cartoon, you got me on the bottom left. Um, just random pictures I use. You got King David and uh, on the top right, just bringing out using these pictures as an example of uh, how beautiful. The Israelite nation really is right, but I want you, what I want y'all to do is imagine a beautiful nation that's godly, right? You know, so obviously we live in a world where you have a bunch of heathens who, um, you had a bunch of coons, a bunch of uh wicked ass niggas, a bunch of you know pagan worshippers who don't believe in the truth. Remember, 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, it said that God of this world has blinded them, has blinded those that don't believe. So most people don't see the beauty. They don't see the intricate works of the Lord. They think you're a weirdo when you're separate. They think you're a weirdo when you're not so-called acting professional, according to how Romans and, and Greeks and Persians and, and Elamites, Ishmaelites, according to the customs of the heathens. All right. But let's, let's get this. Let's get let's get into it, man. Second Edges nine and seven, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. What's the works in the New Testament? John six and twenty nine. Believing on him whom he has sent, Yahweh Shai. So you're not going to willfully break the law. You're going to understand that Yahweh Shai is the life insurance, right? You also going to understand the Lord already preserved his beloved from the beginning. Right, the new covenant, the new testament, right? And you're gonna have you're gonna have a small rem a small remnant of Gentiles that shall be saved. And by faith, man, so you gotta trust whereby you have believed. It says shall be preserved from these said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, right? So the Lord is telling you, He told Edris that basically, um, there will be there will be beloveds that will be saved from perils, man. Right? For I have for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So the Lord, the boss, right? He's telling you, the Lord already preserved beloveds from the beginning. Right? And that's and that's what you call the VIP tickets, man. Right? I'm gonna get verse one and two real quick. That's how you know. You have to be spiritual. It says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. So, you know, what's going on? You know, the spirit of Yahweh Shai's prophecy as well. You dig? And when thou seest part of the signs pass, right? You got blood moves going on, earthquakes, uh, famine, death, nation against nation. You know what I'm saying? The mark of the beast, MOTBs on the way. See them, you dig? It says, and, uh, 
And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told before, uh, told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So people don't, most people don't know yet. Yahweh, Yahweh basically, he took the back. Remember, he turned his back on Israel, his chosen people, because they were committing adultery, right? But also, too, the Lord, he been in the cut. See, most people think the Lord just, you know, took a nap and never returned. Nah, bro. So, I'm going to go back to verse 9. It says, then shall they be in pitiful, pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. Because, you know, humans are carnal. They always have to see something. They always have to have money. They have to, basically, lies make them very comfortable. Whereas the beloveds, the grape, the rubies and gold, they're not comfortable living in lies. So these are like, you know, your witches and warlocks. You got black and brown women that's into Catholicism, La Santeria, witchcraft, voodoo, right? Those are the wild grapes, right? You got the heathens who don't want to come and obey the Lord. They want to worship Black Buddha and they want to worship uh, Mary. And the Lord told you to worship the Father. They want to worship everything else. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. So most of these people, they, they twirl up their nose Right, you stinking Hamites, right? They want to believe in Egyptology, right? They stuck up the nose at the Bible. <clears throat> okay, for such as in their life have received benefits. Y'all got to be hoes and whoremongers. Y'all got to have lots of money, even though you're in debt. Uh -huh. <laughs> Y'all got to basically uh, blend in with stupid pop culture, right? You got our own people that want to be like Becky. You want to be like the other nations. All right, you're carnal. You don't have love in your heart. You see what I'm saying? And have not known me. The majority of our people don't know the Lord, the God of Israel. Because if they did, they wouldn't be celebrating Christmas today, right? And that's not even deep. And they that have loathed my law, so they don't they don't worship the Lord in, in happiness. They allow the world and Satanists and Freemasons and you know all these weirdos. To control them. When you tell them don't eat pork, you tell them, hey, you you are a royal people. Nuh uh, cause my teacher, my I, I have a degree. I'm smart. All right. While they yet had while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it. Right? So what they're trying to do is take away the beauty of the great man. But they despise the commandments. The same must know it after death by pain. And therefore be not be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. And when? Because they're gonna they gonna have that bill in the mail. Mm-hmm. You people, you you wicked bosses and you managers and all you people who you know you you're gonna have a bill in the mail. You know? You you racist heathens, you Gentiles, you you got that bill coming in the mail, man. And you can't pay it off either. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world is created, man. Right? So we're supposed to worry about the true beloved. So, again, on the screen, I'm imagining a people that's in a glorious form like this, but godly, though. Right? And I'm using that because you're going to have, oh, you got to cleave it out and all the other stuff. Bro, stop. But look, man. Then answered I and said, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved, man. We read that again, bro. It says that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved, man. So most all you Christians talking about, you already say the Bible don't say that, dog. Like the scriptures say. In Matthew 15 and 8, and in Isaiah, this people speak well of me, but their heart is far from me, far from him. You know, you, you're joining frats, want to be a Greek or a Hellenist, right? My thing is, again, the Lord is so fed up because he said, look, he designed a peculiar people to himself just for him, right? He's We are his woman, his possession, the whores of the nation, 
wanted to do other stuff. And you can see it. They destroy their beauty, destroy their hair, destroy their skin. They hate themselves. Nah, dude. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. Look in, look in the ocean, bro, and compare it to a tiny drop of water. The Lord is comparing the beautiful beloveds, the sons and daughters of what I call the shawties, and the multitude to a wave, bro. That, man, that's why it's important to fear and love the Lord. That's going to get you through uh, tribulation. That's going to get you through um, vexation, man. Right? It's going to elevate you to become, in a physical form, a beautiful man or woman. Right? The Lord going to keep you away from evil. He's going to preserve you with daily bread. He's going to teach you how to take care of yourself. He's going to teach you how to how to glow up, man. He, he, do, he does want you to be beautiful inside and out, but most importantly, inside, though. And he answered me, saying, like as the field is, so is also the seed. As the flowers be, such are the colors also. Right, the colors of flowers, you know, blue, violet, purple, whatever, white. Such as the workman is, such also is the work. And as the husband husbandman is himself, right, men who tend to a garden, so is the husband tree also. For it was the time of the world. So the Lord is telling you he took intricate time to create, you know, the creatures in the sea, on the land, humans. All right. And now when I was and now when I uh, prepared the world, which was not yet made, even for them to dwell and that now live, no man spake against me. So the Lord is telling you, man, he was at peace, man. The world was just in order. He was just creating things beautiful. All right. So this world, because of jobs, because of bills, because of this wicked Roman fourth beast, according to Revelations and Daniel. This world. It doesn't allow you to enjoy the creation on, on you know of the Lord. Like just just water, alkaline water. How beautiful water makes your body, especially to the Israelites. The Lord gave the dietary law to the children of Israel, right? And you notice something. When the children of Israel, when they eat, when they eat a bunch of pork, catfish, oysters, snakes, when they eat when you, when you see the majority are the wicked of the nation of Israel, you can clearly see that they diminish their beauty, man. For then everyone obeyed, but now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual, perpetual seed, right? So you have wickedness, adulterous. Right, these people make excuses to be wicked. They make excuses not to have faith. They make excuses not to let go of pop culture and stop watching too many damn movies. They make excuses to, uh, you know, this truth offends them. Right, and by a law which is unsearchable, right, read themselves. Now watch this, man. Verse twenty. So I considered the world. And behold, there were there was peril because of because of the devices that were come into it. It says, and I saw it and spared it greatly, right? The Lord spared it and have kept me a grape of the cluster. When you look at a cluster of grapes, the Lord said he chose one grape out of the cluster and a plant of a great people. Right. So even with the Israelites, the Lord, he only wants the beloveds for himself. Like, you know how you see a beautiful, a shawty, when she voluptuous, nice booty, nice body, good spirit, virgin, like the really hard ones to find. Very sweet. She cold though. She mighty. She beautiful. Like she the best. She the creme de la creme. Right? The Lord created a woman for himself. He don't want no other woman. He don't want that woman for nobody else. That's the same way in the flesh. Right? You see your woman, she's royalty, right? Black or brown queen or mistress, right? Royalty, royal women don't, you know, shake the ass for the whole world. They don't bounce around and degrade themselves. They don't become like the heathens, okay? Even some of the Gentile women know better than the Israelite woman, 
They want to wear fake eyelashes, want to perm their hair, right? Y'all want to be Spaniards. Y'all want to be, those are the, that's the grape cluster, right? Because they don't understand. They don't have the Holy Spirit in them, you see? In a plant of a great people, it says, let the multitude perish then, which is which was born in vain. So, you know, a lot of times when I'm at work, bro, I'll be looking at people and when I'm in a store, a restaurant, no matter where I'm at, it's like, damn, the Lord really said the majority of people was just born for no damn reason. And let my grape be kept. The Lord said, let the grape be kept, man. In my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect, right? So Jacob was complete. Job was perfect. Hey, in the new covenant, hey, the beloved said, be ye perfect, right? The Lord said, you can, you can be complete, man. So think about this, right? And most Israelites miss this. You know, as a believe, as a new covenant believing Israelite, bro. Um, remember, you know, we are a reflection of the Lord. You see, so like, people don't understand the Lord, man. He uh, he likes beauty. He likes beauty as well, man. All right. So I think I think this is when uh Edris we wrote the law. But watch this, bro. Second Edris nine and thirty one. For behold, I I sow my law in you, right? Oh, hey man, he shall put his law in the inward parts, and this shall bring fruit in you, man, and you shall be honored in it forever. So, bro, like you gonna forever be a beloved. But our fathers, the grape clusters. Which receive the law, so you tell you they listen, man. A lot of these, a lot of these so called Christians and these wicked people, right? You know, they some point in time in their life they heard about this truth, right? See what I'm saying? They still wanted to eat unlawful foods, you still want to defy your temple, still want to be proud, still want to hate your brother, you want to hate your, your mother, hate your wife, hate your husband. Hate your children. Y'all are, are the children of the goddamn devil. Y'all are murderers. Thieves. Ignorant pieces of shit, bro. That continue to perpetuate dysfunction in your community. The Tory Lanes, the Mexican Stallions. The card. I mean, just the disgusting trash, bro. It says, kept it not and observed not thy ordinances. So they don't even, they don't take the time to think about shit. Like, the old generation, they never even thought to themselves that maybe they put these whitewashed images in here. Let me look at something else, right? But because they were so they were so faithless and all they wanted to do was survive, they were so scared of Edomites and so scared of Ishmaelites, right, of these heathens, right? They decided to, you know, basically be lukewarm, right? The American dream. Go to church, have a picket fence and shit. Well, our, our parents didn't have nothing. We didn't. You don't need money to be happy. You don't need materials to be happy, but you're carnal. See, if you have godly wisdom, if you knew you was an Israelite, you can you can still have those things, right? But see, y'all decided to kiss ass and degrade yourself. Y'all decided to let other nations of people or other other races of people play reverse psychology on you. Just because you speak the truth, that does not make you a racist. But y'all so scared of them. Y'all so scared of losing y'all job. Y'all so scared of looking bad. When in actuality, the beloveds, the grapes, they're lovely. They're sweet. They're righteous. They're fair. Right? You, you, a lot of you white motherfuckers, you white people, and you, and you Arabs, Chinese, a lot of you, okay? You don't have the Holy Spirit, bro. So you fit. The multitude. I'm an atheist, so bro, the Bible's not talking to you, dude. I'm I'm a Muslim, okay. So you follow Muhammad and Ishmaelite, okay. You're still an idolater. And though the fruit of thy law did not perish, neither could it, for it was thine. Yet they they yet they that received it perish, because they kept not the thing that was sown in them. You dig. And lo, it is a custom when the ground hath received seed or they see a ship or any vessel meat or drink that 
that being perished wherein it was sown or cast into. That thing also which was sown, which was sown or cast therein, or received, doth perish, and remaineth not with us. But with us it hath not happened so, man. You see that? Man. It was crazy. Hold on. He said, And when I spake these things in my heart, I looked back with mine eyes, and, and upon the right side I saw a woman, right? Now I ain't a woman in the kingdom. And behold, she mourned and wept with a loud voice, and was much grieved in heart, and her clothes were rent, and she had ashes upon her head. Now I ain't no woman in the truth. Then let I my thoughts go that I was in, and turn me unto her, man. And said unto her, Wherefore weepest thou? Why art thou so grieved in thy mind? And she said unto me, Sir, let me alone, so leave me alone, that I may be well myself, and add unto my unto my sorrow, for I am sore vexed in my mind and brought very low. And I said unto her, What aileth thee? Tell me. Verse 43. She said unto me, I thy servant have been barren. So all throughout the scriptures, right, and you see this in today's time, man. Notice how these Gen X women, these scallywags, you know, they always talk about baby mamas, baby daddies, this, this disgusting shit, right? Now, a lot of women who's barren, they become very, very, very miserable, right? And had no child, though I had a husband 30 years, bro. Right? I've seen this with my own eyes, bro. In the amount of bitterness and hatred and resentment that I had that I had to uh go through, okay, from a stepmother, because she was barren thrice, bro. Okay, that's why I can't Gen X, bro. No. Okay. Because our people don't understand. You cannot commit adultery and expect God to bless you. Okay, you cannot just eat whatever the hell you want to eat and expect the Lord just to preserve you. Anyways, in those 30 years, I did nothing else day and night and every hour, but make my prayer to the highest. So she prayed for 30 something years. And after 30 years, Yahweh heard me thine handmaid, looked upon my misery, considered my trouble and gave me a son, bro. So having a baby boy was like. Is the biggest thing, man. And this is a right. This is what I call a shawty, because she's a beautiful woman spiritually. And I was very glad of him, man. So was my husband also, and all my neighbors, and we gave, and we gave great honor unto the Almighty, man. And I nourished him with great travail. So when he grew up, and came to the time that he should have a wife, I made a feast, man. So his mama, a righteous, godly woman. Made sure his son had a wife so he wouldn't have trouble in the flesh either, man. She wanted some grandbabies, right? You dig? So that's, I just had to read that, man. It's just, but let me get Psalms 37, 28, because the point was in 2nd Eridus 9, right? We got to stop worrying about the wicked of the world. We got we to gotta start looking at the beauty of things, right? And um, the joy... That I have too is knowing the, knowing the Lord's gonna. We don't. We're not gonna have to, you know, see our beautiful women, you know, degrade themselves, man. Like I'm talking about, because a lot of brothers, like man, you know, they they beautiful but they wicked, all right, man. When you focus on the kingdom, bro, you know, and focus on you have a shot no matter where you are, you know. Just know the Lord gonna come through with. He gonna come through. He gonna have sons and daughters, bro. Like. In the kingdom. Let's get Psalm 37 real quick. Hold on. So, I'm going to get Psalms. Get out the goddamn way. So, I'm going to get Psalms 37, right? And also, too, let me say this, bro. Yahweh Shai said in the parable that the cares of the world choke the word and you become unfruitful. So, we can't be getting caught up in, like, man, trying to get six figures. And, and if you got six figures, man, bro, invest that. For health and be an example, right? But don't we we got we got to stop worrying about you know the cares of the world, man. Let's get Psalms thirty-seven and twenty-eight. Go to thirty-seven, twenty-seven. My bad. Be, depart from evil and do good. 
and dwell forevermore. Now I say blend in with people. For the Lord Yahweh loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved, preserved forever, man. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off, man. Let's see what let's see what preserved mean, man. Let's see what that mean, bro. Cause y'all know Jake's simple. They don't know what words mean, dude. Strong's H 8104. Shamer. Shamer. So preserve. Let me go into the strongs. It says be ward, be circumspect, preserve, regard, reserve, save, right? Wait. Okay. To protect, man. To guard, bro. The Lord got his woman and he gonna protect her, man. Right? At all costs, bro. It says the righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. Now I say reincarnation. And the whole nation of Israel is going to get the kingdom. Nah, dude. Hold on, man. You can get that. Get that Psalms 31 and 23. Oh, love the Lord, Yahweh, all ye his saints. Right? For the Lord, Yahweh, preserveth, preserveth the faithful. And plentifully rewarded the proud doer, bro. Right? So a lot of Christians, a lot of people love to quote these scriptures. They love to quote Isaiah 54. You know, no weapon, no, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper, right? But let me show y'all something, dude. All right? Because many people don't like doing this, man. This is why the scriptures say, bro, if you are an enemy, if you're, if you're friends with the world, you are an enemy to the Lord. But how are you, how, how do you become a, a, a great, a great out of the cluster, bro. Let's get John 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, right? No, I say don't be com don't be comforted. I worry about missiles and in in uh, heathens and wickedness. That he may abide with you forever, man. Right? Then 18, he says, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. But you got weird, I was like, I was, I was reading the Bible. At the job the other day, I'm talking about I'm at work reading the scriptures. And every time you open up scriptures, man, people start acting stupid, bro. It's the weirdest, it's the stupidest, weirdest thing. All right. So this is the difference. The the elect, they're going to keep the, the saints, the great, the, the beautiful woman. They're going to keep the commandments. They're going to be mature. They're going to be complete in each and every phase, man. All right. Watch this. Let me see. Watch it. Let me see. Royal. So look. I'm at a I'm at a fact. Get James 2 and 8. It says, If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well, man. Now I said, hate your neighbor, because they don't believe in your doctrine. But if ye have respect to persons, right? Status, the clothes they wear, the job they work, how tall they are, how short they are. Ye commit sin and are convinced of the law as transgressions. And the scriptures tell you the transgressions will be will be blotted out the land, bro. Right? But the point of me getting this one was royal, right? Let's get the word royal. Strong's G nine thirty seven. Basilicas. Basilicas. So royal. It says or belong to a king, kingly, royal, right? All right, metaphorically, the principal or chief, um, befitting or worthy of a king, royal. Now it says, uh, the sovereign, right? The Lord said, be ye separate. So you don't have to be ruling over a damn country to be sovereign, bro. You got to be sovereign because you got you to gotta be like the Vatican. You got to, bro, see, that's why I can't understand Hamashiach, that's why y'all denied him, bro. You never had the Holy Spirit, bro. You're not a king unless you're ruling over a land. Kings rule stuff. Christ said the kingdom was within you, dummy. What are you talking about? As land dressed, man. Preeminent noblemen, kings, man. A prince. Right? When you're walking by a bunch of beautiful shawties, man, and they reverence you because you're a prince, bro. That don't happen to everybody, man. 
Right, so we're gonna keep this right. I'm gonna get first Peter two and nine. So talking to you beloveds, right? It says, But ye are a chosen generation, right? A royal priesthood and holy nation. All right, so what you see on the screen, again, is examples of outward beauty, right? And of course, I put myself in there just for fun, but in all seriousness, bro, outward and inward beauty, right? So, of course, it's not about how you look and how dark, you know, you are and all that. It's just to, it's to give you a vision, right? A peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, all right? So again, the lesson is the grape out of the grape cluster. You dig, you beautiful woman. I'm just, I might title this, I might title this the beautiful woman, the grape of out of the grape cluster. But see, when you have a niggardly spirit, a heathenistic spirit, you don't have that salt in you. You don't, you don't see that beauty in you, man. So chosen, right? Strong's G fifteen eighty eight, eclectos. Eclectos. So chosen means you're picked out, you're chosen by God to obtain, to obtain salvation through Hamashiach. Christians, which were Israelites who followed the Messiah, are called chosen of the elect. It says in definition three, it says a choice or select the best of his kind or class. Read that again, man. The best of his kind or class. Excellence, preeminent, applied to certain individual Christians, dude. Let's not talk about the whole world, man. So, again, the favorite. A select. So, the Lord got favorites, man. Right? He gonna, he gonna boss you. He gonna glow you up. He gonna, he gonna make you a beautiful woman. A beautiful woman. Right? Again, the same word, royal. Let's see what priesthood mean. See what that word means. Strong's G twenty four oh six, hieratuma, hieratuma. So this word it says the office of a priest, the order or body of priest, the priestly fraternity, the sacerdotal order, man, figuratively priesthood, bro. So the Lord he got some he got some things set up to be a priest, office of a priest, right? Because y'all going to say, well, when was women included in that, bro? Read the law, bro. The priestess, the women were outside the tabernacle, but they still had order, dummy. Damn. Now, I, it's going to be it's going to be a sausage party. I... Strong's G40. Hagios. Hagios. So, and to be holy, a saint, bro. Most holy thing. Morally blameless. So, like I said, what you see on the screen, man, beautiful women, but they have morals. Beautiful men and women, but they have morals, integrity, they're pure. Then it says physically, no, nah, don't take care of yourself. If the angels and, the, and the, the, the men and women who are angels, they have glorious bodies. It's to show the glory of the God, of God, bro. The scriptures say, honor the Lord in your temple. So, if you ain't fasting, praying, if you ain't trying to get your body sexy, just to do it and if you don't got the the, the light man you, you tripping bro ceremonially man consecrated be separate all right it says all reverence especially the gods did not you how much i say in john 10 and matter of fact hold on man hold on man watch this which in time past were not a people talking to the israelites but are now the people of Yahweh, which had not obtained mercy, but now, right, have obtained mercy. Dearly beloveds, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lust. So that's not talk. Okay, sex is holy, right? Clapping cheeks is holy when it's done correctly. Fleshly lust is when you're committing adultery, you know, being a, a harlot, right? Lusting after money, lusting after blood, lusting after idolatry. Which war against the soul. Let's get that. Matter of fact, let's get fleshly lust. All right? Because people often get this confused, right? Because sex has been so contaminated 
due to unbelievers in, you know, a lot of people. So fleshly just means carnal, right? It's just governed by human nature, not the spirit of Yahweh, right? So it says animal-like, right? Let's see what lust is. So lust, it says, uh, it says for what is forbidden, sex is not forbidden. Adultery is forbidden, bro. Right? That's why they're pushing pornography heavy. They're pushing, you know, black penis worship so damn heavy. They're pushing, hell, black and Latina women worship so heavy. They worship, they're literally worshiping the body of the Israelite women. They glorify her, how beautiful their lips are, how, uh, how beautiful their, you know, her, her booty is. Right. I can bring that out in history. Right. So when it's causing you to lower your vibration and not because the, the heavenly father, bro, and I'm, I know I'm going all over the place. He created sex to be very, very, very powerful and high vibrational, you know. So this is talking about flesh to lust, concupiscence, man, for, the, for what is forbidden. Right. Homosexuality, all that stuff, bro. Having your conversations honest, honest. Amongst the Gentiles, what we call authenticity, right? That whereas they speak against you as evildoers, right? I, I experience this daily, bro. Heathens always try to, they always try to put their brain in your head. They can't ever figure out why you're so comfortable not living in a suburban house. They're trying to figure out why, you, why you're so comfortable being alone and that they may, that they may, my bad, they may by your good works, which shall be, uh, be, which, they shall behold, glorify Yahweh in the day of the visitation. All right. But let me get John 10 and 34 real quick, right? Because again, the grape amongst the grape cluster. John 20 and 34. Matter of fact, I'm going to get 20, uh, 27. Because everybody's not the Lord's sheep, contrary to popular belief. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. So, you, man, for you, beloved, it's going through persecution. You know, I'm making this video to let y'all know that the Lord, he already got you preserved, man. And I give unto them, unto them. Let's get that word them, bro, because I because people love to twist stuff. Real quick, beloved. The word the Greek word for them is autos. Strong's G eight forty six. Altas. Altas. So them it says himself or herself. So the men and women. The daughters and sons, dude. And then it says her. This is in the Strong's, bro. So the Lord's telling you, he gives men, these these Israelite men and women, right? Even a small remnant of Gentiles, eternal life, and they shall never perish. Now, I, it said, you know, you can't be complete. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My father, which gave them me, is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. So nobody, the boss, just said, the lawyer even just said, too, you cannot pluck the grape out of his hand. All right? Then, look, then the Jews took up stones, took up stones again to stone him. Let's see what the word Jews mean, bro. All right? These are niggas. Jews. It says belongest, belonging to the Israelite nation. All right? It says, belonging to Yehuda, Yehawada. See that? So you got, you got James White. That's talking about the whole entire nation, bro. It says Judah, right? The offspring, the tribe, they were the offspring of Judah. Then it also says, you go back to another origin, right? Because Jew, it also meant that uh, it was Benjamin and Levi and Judah as well. Ooh, a Jewess. All right, so these are Israelites that killed him. Yahweh shall I answer them. Many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do you stone me? Why the hell? Basically, this is me carnally speaking. Like, you know, you, you know, you ask somebody, why the hell are you bothering me, you goddamn nigga? What are you doing, bro? The Jews answered him. The Israelites answered him, saying, for a good work, we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. How the hell did Christ blaspheme, bro? Yo dumbass don't even keep the old covenant law. You you don't believe in the most high. You an Egyptologist. You are the world. You don't believe in the Bible. So how the hell you blaspheme, bro? Goddamn hypocrite. Those are the 
Those are those those are the Israelite heathens. And because that thou being a man, make it thy make it thyself God. And listen, look like how Shai cut these idiots. Yahweh Shai answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are gods. Hold on, hold on, bro. Because you got people that's not talking about Israelites. Yahweh Shai answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are gods. That's why you don't listen to man, bro. See what gods mean, bro. Let's see what that means. Strong's G 2316. Theos. Theos. So gods, man, it says a god or goddess, man. No, I goddess mean worshiping the black and Latina woman. No, nigga. If you know words, S is the feminine, it's the feminine uh suffix of a word, bro. It's basically you're implicating of a female deity. Just like it says in lowercase G O D, that's a male, and goddess is a female. Jew S or Hebrew S is a female, a shawty. Bro, basic sense, common sense. So it says of magistrates and judges, Yahweh's representative are uh, Visser. Hold on, Visser again. I don't know how to pronounce that word. I'm so lucky. But anyways, it says by Hebraism, exceeding God, godly, a magistrate, supreme deity, a deity. So Yahweh Shai. Told the Jews, it's not written, are you deities? Okay. If he called them gods, nah, Ak, you're idolatrous. Ass nigga. Unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. Say ye of him whom the Father hath sanctified, and sent into the world, thou blasphemous, because said, because I said, I am a son, or I am the son of Yahweh. If I do not the works of my father, believe me not. So if I'm not doing what's correct, don't believe me, bro. But if I do, though you believe not me, believe the works, at least believe what I'm doing, that you may know and believe that the father is in me and I in him. Therefore, they sought again to take him. Niggas, bro. Boosie, NBA young boy, King Vine, goddamn coons, all these people. But he escaped out of their hand. You see that? So the Lord went about his business, bro. And then it says in 20 and 42, 41. And many resorted unto him and said, John did no miracle, but all things that John spake of this man were true. And many believed on him that uh believed on him there. First of all, hold on, what does it mean to believe, bro? The people just let me see what that means, man. Strong's G forty one hundred Pistuo. Pistuo. So to believe, bro, it says th to think to be true. To be persuaded, right? Using the new in the New Testament or New Covenant of the of the conviction when it when it pierced your mind and your thoughts and trust. So no matter what's going on around you, you still have faith that the Lord gonna come through, man. You crying out to him, you trust him. You're gonna become a shawty, like you're gonna be, you're gonna become a, a princess, a queen like that, metaphorically and literally. To which a man is impelled by by a certain inner and higher prerogative and law of the soul. To trust in Yahweh Shai or God as able to aid either in obtaining or in doing something, saving faith. Right? So that's what it means to believe, man. That don't mean do, do as thou will and be a weirdo. Okay? So the scripture is telling you, man, the Lord kept a small remnant. Alright? That's actually in Isaiah 1. Let's get Isaiah 1, man. Isaiah 1 and 9, right? Except the Lord Yahweh of hosts, God of hosts, had left unto us a very small remnant. So we know Isaiah was during ancient Babylon, right? We know he was living during Nebuchadnezzar, including Ezekiel and Daniel, right? A very small remnant. We should have been at Sodom, which was destroyed. And we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Here, the word of the Lord Yahweh, ye rulers of Sodom, Give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. You see, let's 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 look up something. So when archaeologists went around the world, it says the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. This is the pillar of salt that they found, man. How do they know it's salt? Because they studied the uh they studied the minerals 
on that place, bro. That's why people don't understand, oh, this mythology, whatever. Dude, when you go uh, search out concrete evidence, man, you're able to understand. This This how you be- This is how you believe, too. You, you have to uh, research things, man. Right? So you don't not you ain't supposed to be doing that, bro. Right? Oh, let me get peculiar too. So first of all, let's get Exodus 19 and 5. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me. A kingdom of priests and a holy nation. The Lord created a man. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, man. Right? Let's see what the covenant is in the old covenant. Let's see what that is. Strong's H twelve eighty five. Berith. Berith. Say so covenant is a pledge or allegiance. The Lord did not make no covenant with the wicked Gentiles. And he, you know, he only, he's going to um do it, do away with wickedness, man. Right. But also, I was going to get the word peculiar. Right. So that, that don't mean get proud and, you know, worship yourself, man. But peculiar. Strong's H, 5459. Segala. Segala. So a peculiar is a valued property, peculiar treasure. That's why they, that's why Gentiles they feel powerful when they have money and they can look down on you. You know, they're they're cowards. They hide behind their guns. They uh disrespect you for no damn reason. Those are heathens. A lot of Israelite women are naturally, you know, tender. To be real with you, not the, not the scallywags, but the shawties, right? They're naturally tender. But see, when you when you lack self knowledge, right? You don't know that you don't know that that you're you're a jewel. Right, you, when you don't feel the Lord, you don't know not to sleep with heathens and be a whore. Peculiar treasure, good, special, wealth, bro. Right? And it says above all people, dude. What in fact, what is a treasure, dog? What in fact, never mind. So to be above all means all, totality, everything. Right, so whatsoever, so the Lord said, Y'all are above everything. Okay, that's his special woman. All right, so it's 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 beautiful, man. I had, an, I had another scripture in my head, bro. Oh, Revelations, my bad. So, Revelation, you go to uh, six and nine. So, these are the beloveds, you know, he's talking about. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh and for the testimony which they held, man, right? So, you know, going through persecution with, you know, family, you know, nonsense, man, uh, bodily afflictions. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? So this, this, this is the treasure. And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season. Until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled, man. So a lot, so a lot of beloveds, man, you know, they may not see, uh, they may not, they may not see death. But you got to, you know, be joyful. You know, scriptures, and the scriptures say too, you know, the Lord... He uh he allowed those things to happen in Israel because they didn't glorify the heavenly Father in uh joy and happiness, man. So just knowing the future, man, for people who's unbelievers and thinking nothing's gonna happen to them. Let me get Luke sixteen, bro. You know, and and it's sad that you got to say this, man, but um a lot of a lot of Israelites gonna be cast away because uh. Y'all are just a waste of melanin, honestly. Verse 13. Oh, I got to get Bilal, too. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. No servant can serve two masters. Everybody love quoting the scripture. But y'all are serving two masters. 
For either he will hate the one and love the other, so you're going to be a coon or you're going to love the Lord, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. You can't serve too much. You can't do it. All right? Let's see what mammon is. So mammon is treasure, riches, where it is personified and opposed to Yahweh. You can't worship riches and wealth, right, and worship the Lord, bro. And the Pharisees also who were covetous. So these are, you know, old covenant Israelites. You can't keep the law. Heard all these things and they derided him. And he said unto them, ye are they which justify yourselves before men. Why well, I didn't do that. What did I do? Right. Making excuses. Our people are known for making excuses of being ignorant. Retarded as people. Right. And you how knoweth your hearts. Right. So you can sit there. God know my heart. Without your breath, you you mocking him, Dante and Devin. That's just that's just a few of y'all, stupid niggas, bunch of squares, bro. For that which is highly esteemed amongst men is abomination, in the sight of God. So what y'all glorify of this world, man, it's an abomination to you. How you ain't royal, man, because you ain't seen the beauty, dog. The law and the prophets were until John, until John. Since that time, the kingdom of Yahweh is preached, and every man presseth into it. No, Ak. This, this is what our people do. Don't believe in that Bible. How you know your religion is correct? You probably eating pork, that catfish. Our people are so simple. It's like, bro, okay, y'all are unbelievers, right? But it's like, even when somebody try to be cordial with you, you're so insecure, and you're so worried about me busting your head. Bro, just stay at peace, bro. Let the Lord try to open your mind, bro. That's why the Lord deals with babes, man, because they're easier. It's a lot easier to teach them and mold them, not mold them to pop culture. And it is easier for heaven and earth to pass than one title or tittle of the law to fail. Now, I say, do as thou wilt. Whosoever, whosoever putteth away his wife and married another committeth adultery, putting away your wife for no reason, your shawty. All right. And whosoever marrieth her that is a put uh that is put away from her husband committeth adultery, man. Now, for you uh rich people in these uh suburban communities, there was a certain rich man which is clothed in purple and fine linen, and fared sumptuously every day. Right? So a lot of white people, Indians and shit, bro, you not bro, y'all allowed those fake those cars are in your land. Y'all teach lies every day. Every day. Y'all judge people every day. Y'all are Satanists. Y'all are weirdos. Y'all are effeminate. Y'all are weirdos. Y'all are ungodly people, bro. It's a myth. It's not talking to you, dude. That's the crazy part. People people talking about they atheists. It's the Bible's only talking to a certain people. Strong's G, 2988. La Prose. So mag magnificently sumptuous living, brilliant. You Edomites, you other nations are not suffering like the Israelites are, especially the beloveds. Right? Not all of you, because you well, I'm not rich, bro. You have benefited from your ancestors' evil doings, bro. Okay. But see, you worry you worry about your job, you worried about your image, you're worrying about selling a product. You're worrying about being professional, but you don't you don't address those wicked rednecks that bother me every day. You don't address those. You don't address your children. You're soft. You're very incompetent, dude, about a lot of things. Right. You don't understand simple things like this, man. The orders of the, the order of the most high, but the Lord has to be dealing with you but anyway. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores. Right. Desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by an angels, by the angels, into Abraham's bosom, into rest. Paradise. Alright. The rich man also died, right, and was buried. So they they go to these little gated communities. Oh, I got a cross on my neck, praising white Jesus, boy. All right? Muhammad, Ishmaelites. And in hell, he lift up his eyes, man, being in torments. Nah, 
and said you you're gonna be you're gonna be racist and a piece of shit, right? For you Israelites too, you got a lot of money. Oh, I love God. Pay your ten percent, and see if Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. That's why the scriptures say in Second Edra seven. I brought this out a while back. The angel told Edras, you know, compare the jewels to like the cement, the clay, right? Because you're going to see the beloveds make it, you know, and y'all going to be cast a hell, a hell away. But my thing is, you want to think about that when you were, you know, being rude towards that person, being disrespectful, being a weirdo. You want to think about none of that. When you disown your children, when you fathers and, and you wicked mothers, they're horrible. Right. For you niggas who want to turn your way, your eye and your ear from the Lord. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tongue of his uh, finger in, in the water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted and thou art tormented. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great goal fixed so that they so that they which could uh, which would pass from hence to you cannot you can't cross. Once you're there, you, cannot, you ain't crossing over. You ain't coming back. So would you rather be a beautiful woman to the Lord or be a, a, a dummy? Neither can they pass to us that that would uh, that would come from this. <laughs> then he said, I pray thee, therefore, father. That thou wouldest send him to my father's house. For I have five brethren. So people in the world, they can't see spirits. You can't see the spiritual. <laughs> that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. What's crazy is you have people that's dying, dying, and coming back to life trying to tell people, and they would turn their ears, bro. That the multitude perished that was born in vain. Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will, they will repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead, man. All right. So the Lord, gonna, the wicked, he's going to bust your head, man. He's going to bust your head, man. For all the murder, all the scoffing, all of the, all of the idolatry, all of the stupidity, and all of the... Lack of self accountability. Mm -hmm. So the Lord got a he got a he got a great he has a great bro. right a woman. Matter of fact, hold on, bro. Um. Hold on, man. Hold on. It's Jeremiah 6 and 2. And shout out to Elohim for bringing this out. Because you have daughters of Zion, which are women. Then you have daughter of Zion. That's singular. All right. Jeremiah 6 and 2. It says, I have likened the daughter of Zion to, to a comely, right, and delicate woman, bro. What do it mean to be comely, man? Strong's H, 5,000. Nave. Nave. So comely, beautiful, seemly. Beautiful, right? Delicate. Strong's H, 6,026. A nag. A nag. So delicate means to be dainty, soft. So white women try to, and, and Gentile women, they try to imitate that. When in actuality, it's like, the nation of Israel, man, to be dainty, pampered, right? Exquisite delight, luxurious, bro. Let's see, daughter. So the singular, right, means daughter. Matter of fact, let me get the word Zion. All right, Zion Williamson. Strong's H, 6726. Zion. Zion. So Zion, it says another name for Jerusalem, especially in the prophetic books man jake jake be naming a name uh naming a sons and daughters zion don't know what it mean bro 
See that? So even the Lord compares the nation to a woman. Right? The elect lady, man. But anyway, man, been on here for like an hour. This was going into how the Lord, um, it, 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 listen, the grape, the grape amongst the grape cluster, man. All right. So again, what you see on the screen, a picture, picture a whole nation, the 144, right, like this. But godly, you ain't got to worry about no adultery. You, you can be in love. You can enjoy each other. You can enjoy the Lord's creation. You can be free from like oppression. Free from, you know, all kinds of wickedness, man. Right? Free from all that, man. You know, Revelation 7 and 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, right? And there were sealed 144,000. Of the tribes of the children of Israel, man. All right. Again, the word. I can't get the word them, bro. What the hell? Oh, them. There you go. Strong's G thirty five eighty eight. Ha. Ha. So them, it says this, these, right? It says he or she, man. Now I ain't no women in the kingdom. All right? So these are beloveds who understand doctrine, you know. Um. Also, when it says, hold on. Let me see what, man, let me see. Let me watch this, bro. Because people, watch this, bro. Let me Google this. It's Revelation 21 and 3. Because people read that. They don't know what it's saying, bro. Revelation 21 and 3. Start at 2. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. What is what is a bride, bro? Right? So a bride, it says a betrothed woman, a shawty, a recently married woman, a young wife, a daughter, a young woman, a bride. All right, damn, to marry. Nah, the Lord, ooh, the Lord, ooh, the, why the Lord talking about women? And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. So they will stop here and see men, sausage parties. And he will dwell with them. And they shall, oh my God, and they shall be my people, be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. The word men in the Greek, bro. Yeah, I don't like to read. Strong's G444. Anthropos. Anthropos. It says of human being, whether male or female, bro. Go to the Strong's. It says a human being, bro. Matter of fact, let's get a, a translation. So the Lord is not dealing with one-sidedness. It says... I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, look, God's home is now among his people. Does his people just include men? No. He will live with them, the he and she's, and they will be his people. And God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. But just like in the new covenant, just like our people now, you, you deem yourself unworthy. So just... Go suffer in your darkness. Scriptures say a fool should be left in his foolishness, man. Or a sinner should be left in foolishness. Something like that. We don't have time for people who want to go in circles, man. For no reason. You see? Right? It was something. Man. Again, man. So, again, that's the elect lady, bro. Shout it. But the fearful and unbelieving, right, cowardly, unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderous, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, right, Nimrod worshippers, Ishtar, and all liars should have the part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death, Naoch, reincarnation. 
And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues and talked with me, saying, come hither. I will show thee the bride, the woman, the lamb's wife, man. See that? To the Lord, man, he's going to set up his kingdom, man. But what's the what's the word, bro? A grape amongst the grape cluster, man. So I hope your beloveds will edify, bro. Hope your beloved stacking up paper. Right. But this gonna man Lord willing, this gonna, this gonna manifest in this life too, man. Right, bro? It's just I'm tired, just this nonsense, bro. So, anyways, man, peace and blessings and shalom. Y'all beloveds, take care of y'all bodies. Um and just, just depart from, you know, wickedness, man. But peace and blessings and shalom. shalom.